Welcome to JMC 6000. Hey, I'm John Christensen. So glad you can join me. And what I want to do in this video is kind of explain the differences in hybrid systems. There are some new systems that are coming out and I kind of want to give a brief explanation of what's in the Maverick hybrid, which is very similar to what's in the majority, not all, but the majority of Toyota hybrids. And then also explain some of the different hybrid systems that are out there. So I have my laptop here. And what I wanted to do was kind of do a little brief demonstration and kind of briefly explain the different hybrid systems had a request to do this so here i am i want to do this here today on this video so there's two main hybrid system for hybrid vehicles out there even plug-in hybrids share these kind of two main systems first off there is what they call a series hybrid system and then the other hybrid system is a parallel hybrid system that's not very good explanation here we go parallel hybrid system. So I have these two pictures and I'm going to kind of briefly explain each one. Let me start off with the series hybrid because the series hybrid is what's in the majority of uh, um, hybrid electric vehicles today. Uh, it's what Toyota primarily uses, uh, what the Ford Maverick uses. Now what's unique about uh, the Toyota system and the Ford Maverick system and other Ford systems that are hybrids outside of the F-150, that's a totally different animal, we're going to explain that one, is that they can be a series or they can be a parallel. They can be both. They also call that a series parallel, which this picture is smaller, so sorry I can't get a good picture, but I'm going to kind of explain what this does. So in a series hybrid, let me go back to this one. Series hybrid, the basic premise is you have the engine uh, that's transver transversely mounted, that drives a motor generator. So on, on the Maverick Hybrid, Escape Hybrid, Toyota Prius, uh, Toyota Camry Hybrid, the Toyota Corolla Hybrid, all these front wheel drive based hybrid systems outside of the Hyundai and Kia Hybrid front wheel, drive, front wheel drive based hybrid systems, they all use this type of design. They call it a series hybrid. And what happens is the four cylinder engine will drive what they call motor generator one. What this motor generator does is actually a little bit smaller than number two, which is motor generator two. What the motor generator does is just that. It, what it does is actually start the engine. And then once the engine is running, it actually generates power, which will go to the inverter and go and charge the battery. So when you're driving down a road in your Maverick Hybrid, driving down a road in your Camry Hybrid, Prius, whatever, as the engine fires up, if it's in low enough speed or if it's just running in a stationary position, most of the time it's just charging the battery. Um, what's unique about the Ford Hybrid system in the front-wheel drive versions is that Ford actually uses engine uh, coolant to help bring heat into the cabin. Some hybrid systems actually use a heat pump we're not going to talk about that. Again, I'll mention that briefly. Some hybrid systems actually use a heat pump, which is very cool. Most, A lot of plug-in hybrids use a heat pump, except for the Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. That still uses engine coolant to give heat into the cabin. Ford hasn't really made the bridge to go heat pump yet. I'm not quite sure why, but they need to catch up with other um, car companies out there that are already making heat pumps for their electric vehicles and their hybrid electric vehicles. Anyway, so... That's motor generator one's job is to kind of start the engine and then also to generate a power to go back into the battery. Number two is motor generator two, and that's the primary drive motor that actually is connected to the final drive that drives in this part the front wheel. Sometimes uh, in the escape in the escape hybrid, it'll be all four wheels are driven by this. Uh, in Toyota hybrid system that has this type of design, they'll use a separate e-motor in the back of the vehicle to drive the rear wheels not so in the ford system but again many different hybrid systems it's hard to kind of cram it in it one video but i'm gonna try and do my best please leave comments questions i will help to answer those as best i could if i didn't cover everything in this video so this is your primary premise of a series hybrid system now on the ford maverick ford escape toyota most of the toyota hybrid systems What's also unique about this hybrid system is it can be a parallel to where the engine not only drives motor generator one, it can also, when needing more power, be connected to the final drive along with motor generator two to really help propel the vehicle forward. So at certain speeds, 
when I'm going on the highway, when I have the accelerator fully down, it'll actually engage the final drive ratio with motor generator two to help really propel the vehicle forward, and which is pretty cool. So that's how uh, these systems right here, like the one in the Ford Maverick, Toyota Prius, many other Toyota hybrid systems are known as a series parallel because they can be a series hybrid or they can be a parallel hybrid or they can be both at the same time. Awesome. So that's a kind of a general, um, kind of a general overview of the series hybrid. Now let's talk about the parallel hybrid. Parallel hybrids are usually a little bit different. Again, what's unique about the Ford system, Toyota system, and others out there um, that are front wheel drive race outside of the Hyundai and the Kia is they're mostly series hybrids that can be parallel when called upon. Parallel hybrids act a little bit differently. So you'll have an engine. Behind the engine, usually you have an electric motor. Now this electric motor can be a starter. It can also be a generator. And then at the same time, this electric motor can power uh, through the drive unit, which would be a transmission mostly, and then that'll power the wheels. In this case, this would be a rear wheel drive platform. Uh, this motor will also provide power when needed back to the battery if need be. Um, some parallel hybrids actually use two electric motors. For example, the Ford Explore Hybrid or the Ford F-150. I believe the Toyota Tundra. Uh, what they'll have is they'll actually have a, uh, a unique starter generator in the front of the engine driven by a very heavy duty tensioner system serpentine belt that would actually start the engine. And when the engine's running, that provides a little bit of power back to the battery. And then you also have the bigger motor behind the engine and sandwiched in between the engine and the transmission that actually drives the vehicle itself or in certain uh, implications uh, when the engine's running, it can provide uh, power usually as a uh, if you're running stationary, you can provide power back to the battery, or as you're slowing down, that big old motor can turn into a generator with regenerative braking and provide power back to the battery again. So kind of unique, usually with this type of system, they'll have two electric motors. You'll have one electric motor here, that's sandwiched be in between the transmission and the engine to provide power to the front or rear wheels, depending on the system. Honda Kia kind of use the same system. They'll have a 1.6, either turbo or non-turbo, uh, direct injected engine, uh, transversely mounted with this type of parallel hybrid design. They'll have an electric motor and then they'll have their six-speed automatic. The new Toyota Hybrid Max system that's going to be used in the Highlander, what's it called, the Highlander, oh, I forget what the name of it is, the, the, the Grand Highlander, so sorry. And used in the new Grand Highlander, used in some of the Lexus products. This is using this type of design, except the engine is transversely mounted the 2.4 turbo, you have an electric motor, and then you have the six-speed automatic, kind of working as a parallel hybrid to really... What's nice about this system is this delivers really good max power. Um, it's able to generate a lot of power. This is not good for fuel economy. The series hybrid is best for fuel economy. Whereas a parallel hybrid system is best for bigger power numbers, more torque. You're able to really combine the, the engine, the electric motor, and the transmission to really get the power to the wheels where it needs to be. Usually there's a one-way clutch that disconnects uh, when it's just driving on electric power or the electric power is being regenerative braking. Or when it needs to start the engine, it can sometimes use this electric motor or use the other motor on some of these hybrid vehicles mounted on the front of the engine via serpentine belt and really provide a starter that way. Um, there is some unique options out there. Mazda is coming out. Well, they had the CX-60. It's been out overseas, but now they're coming out with the CX-90. It's a plug-in hybrid, and they only use one electric motor in a parallel hybrid system, only one, which is kind of unique. And the reason why they do that is, is under certain speeds, if you need to fire up the engine, Mazda uses a traditional starter. Above certain speeds, usually above 40 miles an hour, 35, 40 miles an hour, I think the threshold is, it'll actually use the motor sandwiched in between the engine and the transmission to fire up the engine instantly and then get all the power going. Kind of unique system. Uh, just a little side note, I have one of those on order. And we should be seeing that here later on in the summer. I'll keep you guys informed about that. Kind of excited about getting that vehicle coming. 
And they let you know I'm not getting rid of the Maverick Hybrid, at least not that I'm aware of, not yet. Uh, but I'll keep you guys up to date on when that Mazda CX-90 comes. Plug-in hybrid, all that. Uh, it's pretty much the most expensive vehicle I've ever ordered. Anyway, awesome. Some great things are coming to the channel. But anyway, this is a brief overview between Parallel Series and then Parallel Series Hybrid combined. Don't know where we are in time. But anyway, you guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Please leave questions, comments. I've kind of did a general basis. If you guys have any questions, also uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos. I have um, an update on the Maverick Hybrid that should be coming up here in a, in a soon coming video. And then also stay tuned for some more stuff that is going to be coming. Of course, keep you guys up to date with everything that's going on with the Mazda CX-90 that I have on order, PHEV. Not the inline six. The inline six was tempting, but I really wanted to test out the PHEV and really... Uh, be a great benefit to my family and my wife as well it is going to be primarily her vehicle. So anyway, you guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. I upload every single Wednesday morning. Awesome.